the people that we've met, the collaboration, the uh, realness, the rawness, absolutely no ego in the room. The knowledge that we have gained from just the group share, uh, the mindset, and just networking with other individuals across the country has been phenomenal. Um, I was able to put into new, really, systems and procedures that took my business to a whole new level. Um, I got a seat at the table. that I would recommend y'all listening to like over and over. Um, it's the one I did with my coach, um, Dr. Matt Townsend. And then, um, then, I, then I had Jamie Miller on the next week. And then I had Wally on the week after that. You talk about getting real, Wally, Wally laid it all out on the line. But Jamie, um, his accent is, is intriguing. Like he'll suck you in just the way he, the way he talks. But um, he has just the, this way of communication. So. The podcast, the podcast with, with Coach, we got into dialogue theory, we got into a lot of understanding, you know, behavior for us as humans. And, it, you know, one of the things that I always say, it's, you know, as we're having conversations with somebody else, it's always layers deeper. It's always layers deeper. And what Coach always talks about is that it's smoke and fire. And that a lot of the things that, that will get us is the smoke. Right when people are upset, they're coming at us. They're saying something. That's the smoke. And I had a, I had a conversation with with someone, and she was having kind of a challenge with her with her kid. And she kind of reacted, and she's like, "Hey, it's this this environment, his kids he's hanging out with," and she kind of reacted. And I said, "Well, you just got choked up on the smoke." And she's like, "What do you mean?" I was like, "You didn't get down to the fire." You stayed in the smoke. You didn't get down to the real issue. And she kind of thought about it, you know, for a couple days. And she ended up having a conversation, and it was true. He was upset about something completely different than what she thought it was, and it had nothing to do with his with his friends. And and so understanding, you know, really making sure that we're getting to the fire of things, and then um, you know just just kind of understanding there's always something missing there. But so. Coach and I talked about that on the podcast and then, you know, had Jamie the next week. We kind of continued of how to, how to better communicate. And it's one of the skills that every one of us in this room needs to elevate our skill set in our communication. And one of the things that Jamie talks about is the golden rule of communication. And he actually, he actually called his daughter on the podcast. He said, let me call Ruby and, and we'll ask Ruby this question. And she didn't answer anyway. She'd come back, but he ended up getting her on the phone. And of course, you know, hi, you know, good morning. What are you doing? And and um, he said, let me ask you. I'm going to ask you one question. What is the golden rule of communication? And she didn't hesitate. She goes, always ask permission. Always ask permission. And it's been an absolute game changer. And so think about that. In every one of our conversations, you have to start it with by getting permission. What happens? The gate of the mind is shut. When you ask the question, the gate of the mind opens. Now they're more receptive. And, and so as we're kind of working through kind of understanding in the conversations and the things we're going to have over the next couple days, this is another concept for you, is that discovery time versus decision time. And as you're growing your organizations and you have your leadership team around you, when you're small, you can get away with just being open and conversating and you know, are we making a decision or are we not? But as you guys continue to grow and you add a few people into the conversation, some people are gonna take what you say as fact and they're gonna run with it, like that's a decision. Like, no, 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 we're just still brainstorming, we're just still talking here. And, and so not only getting permission in our conversations but also being intentional in what type of conversation we're having. And so, what my challenge for you guys, especially today, is to, is to be really in discovery mode. Kind of discovery, bigger picture, where are we at, where do we want to go, being honest with where we're at. Tomorrow, we'll move to making decisions. We'll move to like, hey, we need to make some decisions on what we're going to commit to over the next 90 days. All right? And then um, from, from Peter Senge's book, The Fifth, Fifth Discipline, he kind of piggy, piggybacks on this a little bit more. And he's like, dialogue and discussion. 
And so dialogue is suspending our assumptions and our opinions and allowing our blind spots to be revealed, right? What we reveal, we can heal. We all have blind spots. And that's why, you know, having the courage to get into a room like this, you're allowing the vulnerability for your blind spots to show. And that's what we want. We want them to show because what we reveal, we can heal. And discussion, when we have a discussion, discussion is like a ping pong game. When you're playing a game, somebody has to win. So my challenge for you guys over the next couple days is to be in a lot of discovery time and let's have some great dialogue. Cool? All right, so ground rules, be real, uh, bring, bring, you know, play all out. Um, be fully engaged, listen twice as much, and be present. So if you've got, any, if you've got something with a client, dealing with something, step out. Um, we will have some, you know, some breaks throughout. We have time at lunch. So if you need to, to put out a fire that can't wait, step out. Just don't rob the room. That's um, just kind of one of the ground rules. And, and really challenging to listen more than, <laughs> than we should. And um, this is important. So when we're giving feedback, there's three, three ways to share, to share our feedback with each other. And, and say what type of feedback you're giving. One is from personal experience. Say, hey, I went through this. This is what I experienced. The other way to share is, hey, I saw somebody that they went through this. And then the third is, hey, this is a great idea I have. Personal experience experience with somebody that you know, and then third is, hey, this is an idea. You have to let people know that because sometimes you just, you know, I can share something and you may take that, oh, John must have went through that. Instead, it was like, no, it was an idea I had, and so you just want to be real clear in how we're, how we're communicating things. Um, you know, for you guys new in the room, and I think you'll already start to see it, this is a very abundant mindset room. Um, people will, will go all out and share and give, and I think you guys have already experienced that at a, at a high level. Um, being vulnerable, transparent, and, and you know, really what it is is to build trust. And so this is the best definition of trust I've, I've ever seen. It's just being transparent, being vulnerable times time. So like you think about the more times you've been in this room, the more trust you have with the people that are here. And it's because you'll, you'll find out in a hurry how genuine and authentic and vulnerable this room is. And <laughs> Jackie always says, we usually get to our shit real quick. And I think you'll, we'll see that. We'll get to our ship pretty, pretty quick this morning. Um, so I'll set up the parking lot. So if you have an idea or a thought, actually in your book, make, make one page, make one page in, in the book um, where you're taking the, the notes. One is uh, for insights. So like on one page, little insights. These are little insights, ideas, things that I got. And then on the other, put actions. These are some of the actions I know I need to take. This little exercise that we do and in strategic, every session we start, we, we have this little sheet here. So little ahas, insights that we get, and then shit, these are actions I know I need to take. Um, yeah, make a little note there too, if you've got a parking lot item until we can get a board put up. We'll have the parking lot. And cool, let's just have an incredible experience and uh, create some magical moments. All right, so we're gonna go around the room. This takes a little time, but it is so, so important. And this is one of the things that you guys need to be doing um, in every one of your meetings and everything that you do with your team. You can do it on a small scale. Positive focus, right? Everything with positive focus. Because you all had shit going on outside of the room and then you come into the room and you've got to be in the right frame of mind to be able to, you know, be able to, you know, make the most of this. So, this is a Patrick Lencioni exercise. If you guys have don't do not have the advantage, his book, The Advantage, in your library, get it, get a copy of it, The Advantage. It was the number one book. Clayton Mask kept telling us to read. Alex, how many years did we go? We didn't read it. It's like so stupid. He would tell us every time we would go. Did you read The Advantage yet? I was like, no. So, um, so Lencioni, and this is just, uh, just a, this is a low, low level of vulnerability. He has a couple exercises that ratchet up the vulnerability at a, at a deeper scale. I would recommend that with your, with your leadership team. If you're doing quarterly, offsite, annual, 
I would recommend going through the deep vulnerability with your team. Like, you're gonna get real. Like, <laughs> there's gonna be some tears shed if you go through that exercise correctly. We're not gonna do that this time, all right? So, so no tears here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around the room, name and market, one word open, uh, favorite place you have been, what is the one thing I wish you knew, what is the one thing that you are most wanting to contribute to the group today? And what is the one thing you are looking to solve? I will definitely take notes on that because I want to make sure when you leave here that is solved. So I'm going to let Cheryl kick us off. <laughs> 